Hey everybody, Bill here with uh, Eastside Hot Rods. Today we're going to do uh, a new project. And the new project is uh, we're going to fix up the climate controlled bezel from a 71 Dodge Demon. Now we've already done it kind of once on this and it's not really perfect. So we're going to strip it down and do it all over again. We're really only going to use a few things. A sandblaster, some tape, some spray paint, and a marker. So hang in there with us as we take this thing through the different steps of getting this uh, created to look almost like brand new again. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to strip it down so it's just bare plastic. We're going to do that in the sandblast cabinet. Uh, it should only take literally uh, a minute or two and we're just going to eliminate it so it's back down to nothing. So we'll start with that. So we just put it into the blast cabinet here. And I know this won't be easy to see but we are just going to remove all of the paint from around the edges here and get it back to bare plastic. We did a quick uh, sandblast. It took about two minutes in the blasting cabinet. Uh, what we have now is a raw plastic um, piece here and we are now going to just tape off the back side and paint out with the satin black SEM color coat um, across the entire thing. So that'll give us our base coat and make it all black. Then we'll add the chrome to it on top after that. So what we have here is the bezel and on the back, I've taped it off real good so no paint hits the back. Um, I think that'll just make it look a little bit nicer. And the product we're going to use is the same thing that we used in the last video, which was the chrome paint shootout. We're going to use color code 15243 from SEM. Uh, this is a satin black finish, which actually gives it kind of a nice shine. And it's more like a dye. So it actually just looks really nice here on this bezel when it's painted out. So I'm going to paint the entire thing. We'll do a couple of um, light coats. And... <clears throat> That'll be the base coat for this, so. That should be enough to get us first coat down. We'll do the second coat here in a, in a few minutes. So we finished the uh, black coat of paint here, and if you take a look at this, it's nice and smooth. It actually looks really good. Um, I think we'll be really happy with that as the base of this. So the next step up is we have to tape off the entire inside here and make it so the only thing exposed is the edge. Then we'll use the chrome paint that we determined was the best for this purpose uh, in the last video and we'll chrome it out. We finished taping up the uh, front of this and as you can see the most important part is really to have nice tight uh, lines. Um, one tip for doing that is make sure you cut the tape, don't just tear it. So it's standard blue painter's tape, and if you take your time, uh, you should be able to tuck it in there and overlap it really well. Uh, that'll make a big difference. So next up, we're going to take the Duplicolor Perfect Match Universal Chrome Paint, and we're going to paint around the edges of it. So shake it up here, get it flowing, and... So that's the first coat. We'll wait for that to dry and then we'll do a second coat. <clears throat> so we have painted out the bezel. We've got the chrome around the edge all finished up and it looks real nice. So the next thing we need to do is just remove the uh, tape here to see how everything turned out. So we're just gonna, I'll leave the stuff on the back. What I really care about is the stuff here on the front. And we'll undo this to See what we have underneath. There we go. So you can see here we've got a real nice bezel now. It looks good. 
Um, and it's either chrome or black, so that's nice. Next step, final step in this process is, I'll flip this over here, I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna use a liquid chrome pen here. And <clears throat> I practiced last time, I used the four millimeter version of it, and it seems to work the best. So you just need to shake this up and get the uh, paint flowing through it. And then pop the cap here. I'll dab a little bit out. Then what I like to do is hold it so it doesn't move as much as possible. And in a long, steady motion, paint out all of the high areas. There we go. So I'm just gonna complete doing this. Um, let me show you how a couple of letters look. It's almost like on the letters, you pretty much just need to hit the tops of them. And it'll work. So you can see the word defrost here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, the finished product here, without taking the tape off the back, uh, turned out really nice. You can read all of the letters. They look chrome. The edges look kind of chrome. Uh, the face is nice and black again. I mean, this thing was not in very good shape when we uh, took it apart, and it looks almost like new now. So super easy process. Honestly, just between coats, it doesn't take very long to do. And the parts and the supplies are really simple for it. So sure hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please click subscribe. Um, and uh, we'll look forward to filming another video with some other cool stuff somewhere down the road. Thanks, everybody. All right. So as always, I'm Bill from Eastside Hot Rods. And this was our project today. Uh, check out eastsidehotrods.com where you pick up some really cool shirts kind of like this. Uh, thank you. Thank you.